Draper. When I was about 12 years old, I found out about Camelot through my parents. They told me about it, how it was a program for people with disabilities. I really didn't know much. They were just like, oh, you know, this would be fun. You know, you'll get to ride horses and you'll have a good time. And I'm like, okay. It's a nonprofit and people don't pay for lessons. So sometimes it's in real high demand. So I had to wait a year or two before I could get in. I was interviewed by the founder, Eileen Chehusky. She was the most amazing person that I've ever met in my whole entire life. She was just a person that didn't take no for an answer when it came to independence. So when I came, I thought I was just signing up for a pony ride. You know, your typical, maybe like, get off, get on, do some stretches. This program was totally different. When you came to Camelot, you were in charge of your horse for about an hour and a half. Grooming it, bonding with the horse at that time, to know about how to tack up the horse, put the saddle on, the saddle pad, and all those things, and the bridle. And, and if you can physically do it, then you better know how to do it. And they teach you how to do that. We have a curriculum, so there's no need to stress about it, but you were in charge of those things. So when I came to Camelot, I was like, wow, this is so much different than just a pony ride. I had cerebral palsy. You know, people people have misconceptions of what people with disabilities can do, but I leaned through the, out the window. So, I mean, horses are 1,100 pound animals, and to have command over those animals and have a physical disability, that's some strength right there. So, so I had my public speaking business for a while. During that time, I did an exchange program in Mexico, and I worked for Walt Disney World, and then, um, and just I woke up in the middle of the night and I was just like, I really miss horses. I really miss being around Camelot and I really just miss that whole atmosphere that I had. And mind you, this is 10 years later that I'm, that I'm thinking this, but even with all those fun things, I really just wanted to come back to Camelot because I knew what that experience meant to me and I just wanted to do that for someone else. And I'm going through the process to become a PATH certified instructor. I'm, I'm very proud of her. It's really been an honor to work alongside her. But everyone is born with the right to risk, and so many of our students are told no again and again based on the fact that they have a disability. So here at Camelot, we try to think outside of the box and to really embrace our students' right to risk while providing the safest riding experience possible. So for parents that are very protective, it can be, it can be very challenging to, to trust and to let go. And that's part of the whole process. Learning how to buckle a helmet um, or buckle a cinch or a girth can equate to somebody snapping their own pants. There's no place else I'd rather be. This, this facility and what we do, how we impact the community, means the world to me.